Hello, this is Dr. Prain. Um, you are viewing this video because I have told you that we need to apply some topical gel to your jaw joint. The reason for this gel is to get the anti-inflammatory medication through the skin into the joint itself. And how we do that is we take one of these pads that I'm going to be giving you. We take it out of the pouch and there's a little metal coin in there and we click it and it, uh, and it starts to heat up. Why are you... While you're waiting for it to heat up, I want you to put it over the affected joint area right here. The other thing you can do is you can use a hot, moist cloth. You take a washcloth, wet it, put it in a microwave and heat it up to get nice and hot and put it over the same area. The purpose is to get the skin nice and warm and supple and, and um, uh, moist. Okay, And then when that's accomplished, you're going to take the gel that I'm going to give you take it out of there and just apply it over the joint area to where there's a layer of gel over the joint area. And then you're going to take a piece of saran wrap, mine's in red so you can see it, and you're going to put it over that gel and you put the hot pack back over that. The purpose of that is to uh, make sure the gel isn't absorbed back in the washcloth but rather goes into the skin, through the skin, into the joint area. And just hold it there for about 10 minutes. And if you want, you can move your jaw a little bit once in a while just to get the uh, motion so that it draws the anti-inflammatory into the joint area. And when you're finished, you should be able to have less pain in the joint. And then I would suggest taking an ice cube in a Ziploc bag and just put it over the area to cool the joint down. And that will help contract the blood vessels to keep the uh, medication in the joint area. Do not put the ice on the muscles around the joint. Make sure it's right in front of the ear to cool the joint down. You need to do that once or twice a day as needed, maybe three times a day, depending how much pain you have, and that would decrease the pain in the joint. Um, that will help us accomplish our goals to get you to open wider later on. But right now, the purpose of this gel is to reduce the pain in the joint. So call me if there's any questions, uh, if there's any rash that develops, stop it. Uh, if you have any redness, a little bit of redness is normal because that's from the heat. Uh, but if it's more than that, if you get a rash or bumps or itchy, anything like that, you just stop what you're doing, take a Benadryl, and give me a call and let us know what's going on. And we'll see you at the next appointment, and um, I hope it helps. Thank you.